Hey guys, it's me again. Um, we're back at it again with the Game Boy Color, so let's have a look and see. So, luckily I figured out what's wrong with this, so I can just go straight into it. So, in case this is your first time seeing anyone fix a Game Boy Color, hello, um, I'm Hammy. Um, secondly, the only reason I'm doing this really quickly is because I've already opened this up and I've already taken some of this stuff off. Um, so the screen is already disconnected. The only thing that I'm adding in that's going to be new, I'm going to move the car that forward. Yeah. So the only thing that needs to be carefully removed is the little plastic for the power switch, which I've just done there. And then on the inside of the Game Boy, if you've never seen the inside of one, um, you'll want to make sure that all of the silicon is here. So the silicon pads for the A and B buttons, the D pad, and also the select and start buttons. Um, if you see kind of like, in fact, this one is a bit worn, um, which likely means that there's going to be wear on the other side of the board. Um, yeah, there is. So there's a little bit of like this green wear, like just by the A button. Um, so that might mean that the A button won't work um, unless I clean it on the board and then also on the silicon or maybe like switch over the silicon. Um, but we'll test that out once we've actually fixed this. Um, yeah, again, the issue with this is really simply that the speaker doesn't work. Um, I thought it was originally that the screen wasn't working because the screen there isn't. And that's also the case. So I've got another Game Boy um, with a screen that works that I used some parts from. So we're going to put this board into there, but we're also going to steal this one's speaker. Um, now what I've got to do is get the old speaker cables off because it looks like someone has cut them off at some point. Um, and then we'll put the new ones on. And there is, however, one tool I think I haven't got, which I need. So I shall be back with that. So this is why it's being shot on another day. I needed to get some super wick. Um, I got a much bigger package of it. Oop. Mainly so then I don't run out of it as quickly. So that I don't have to wait as long just to like jump straight into fixing things. Just to give you guys an idea of what other things I've got with me. Um, I've got some flush cutters. Um, that's mainly so that once I get the other speaker in, if I need to, I can clip some of the cabling off of the board so that it doesn't stick out as much. Um, the inside of the Game Boy is plastic, so it's not really a huge deal. Um, but if it was metal, um, then you'd want to make sure that that isn't short circuiting against the body of the Game Boy itself, or you could break something. Um, these are needle nose pliers. Don't think I'll need these. I normally use these if I need to bend something or twist something. Um, and these are wire cutters in case I have to cut the speaker out of the old Game Boy. I can use these to strip the wires so that I have something I can put into this board so that it will work again. Um, hopefully I don't need these because I actually don't know how thick these cables are meant to be. Um, but we'll figure it out. Let's see if this is warmed up by now. looks like it can come out. Yep, there we go. Nice. Best thing in the world. Super wick, best thing. That was like incredibly easy. Um, if you need a tool for any sort of like console modding or if you're doing any sort of electrics work, you need to get this. You need this. Um, just to show you what it is, it is that. MG Chemicals Super Wick. Yeah, best thing in the world for getting solder off. Um, but at least it's more fun than using a solder sucker because it works a lot more of the time. By the way, if you're watching this and you're wondering why I'm looking in that direction occasionally, um, it's mainly because the camera, which is this one here, um, that camera only records in half an hour bursts. So if I don't keep track of the time, I won't have any footage for you guys and you won't be able to see my face from the front. It will just be from the side and some of you might enjoy that and the rest of you might absolutely hate it. If you enjoy not seeing me, well, you have the angle over here. That's why you have that. So then that way you can ignore me. There we 
Yep. And that's done it. There we are. Right. Good. And because I know that that's the way that it came out, I can put that into the new one. Now, what's great is that I might not need flux to solder it in because it's wire on a through hole component. Um, but let's see. So that should be done. Okay. Yep, the speaker's in. So I'm going to turn the heat down on this because I don't need it to be as hot as it is anymore. And, aha. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to use the front from the Game Boy that I took the new speaker off of because that one has a screen that works. And I'm going to see if both the screen and the power are working now. Hopefully they are. And it just means that I now have a Game Boy for modding. Now in the previous either video or part of this video, depending on how I edit it, I did talk about how this Game Boy had a really weirdly um, attached capacitor um, in that it's normally like a surface mounted one, but it looks like they've used one that goes through a hole and then made some legs for it. The joints weren't good, but I did test them before and it's meant to be all right. At least it seems to have like continuity. So it looks like the cable at least connects to the rest of the Game Boy. So it should work. But if it doesn't, then I'm also gonna replace that maybe because it looks like they left in that brown tape that was over the top wherever I bought this or whenever I bought this. Um, they left some capacitors there. Likely ones that are actually meant to be used for it as opposed to the ones that they did end up using for it. On the plus side, I'm getting really good at that. I've, I mean, I've kind of switched over a speaker on a Game Boy in around about like, what, it's been like 12, 13 minutes now? I didn't actually know I was that quick. I think the eye is gonna be impressed once she realizes that it took me that long to repair this, hopefully, as long as it works. Um, but let's get some batteries and I'll be right back and we'll test it out and see what we're looking at. Batteries. Let's turn it on and see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that was quick. Um, yeah. Uh, does the sound actually work? I mean, that's, that's just one bit of it. Yeah. I mean, the sounds, I'm not sure whether that's the loudest the sound goes, because um, it sounds a bit quiet. Um, but yeah, it makes sound. Listen, have a listen. There you go. And we have screen as well, which is good. Um, so yeah, um, that's good. At least now I have a Game Boy Color that works. Um, I don't even know how I got that Game Boy Color genuinely. Um, at most, I would think it's something I maybe got off of eBay and just forgot that I had. Um, but there you go. Um, so if you haven't got sound on your Game Boy Color, um, you might want to check that capacitor first because it looks like that was a bit weird. Um, to show you the capacitor I'm talking about real quick on this, now really empty Game Boy. Um, it looks like it's this one here, which is that one there. Um, so it's worth checking that out because maybe replacing that solved it. Either that or maybe this little capacitor here, which I've broken off from when I tried to repair this board before ages ago for like a power issue. Um, but yeah, that seems pretty good. I wonder if I should take some of the other bits and pieces off of this for other things. I don't know. This is a very lonely Game Boy board. Um, but yeah, now I've gotten this all sorted out. Um, all I need to do is mod it. Um, so I'm going to do some research into some backlight mods. Maybe I'll make a video about doing that. I'm not sure. I mean, I've got like a couple of other videos about me doing big mods to Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Um, but if you do want to see that, leave a comment and leave a like and maybe I'll get onto it. Um, other than that, I'm going to get this modded and maybe give it away to someone or maybe keep it in my collection. I'm not 100% sure yet, uh, but you guys can't judge me unless you subscribe. So make sure you subscribe, mainly so you can judge. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.